one of the ways um, by which I really feel that we can have an impact in our world is by showing good manners at the workplace. Because when you think of it, we spend most of our time at work. Either you work for yourself or you work in an organization, whatever it is, you find that you spend more time at work than in church most times. So the question is, are you shining the light at work? Are you exhibiting good manners at work? Are you exhibiting the Christ-like manners, manners and the things that you're expected to do at work? Because what we find is a lot of people are only Christ-like in church. But when they come to work, they tone it down, their manners are out the window. And there is really nothing that is drawing people closer to you. Because the truth is, your character is one way that will, or one thing that will make people ask, why are you so different? I want to know why. So this is what I'm here to talk about today. Workplace etiquette. Some things that I need you to start incorporating at work as an elegant lady. My name is Remy and I am a global image and etiquette consultant based in Bolton, United Kingdom. So like I said at my introduction, I'm going to be talking about workplace etiquette and some basic things you need to start doing. Okay. Number one is introduce yourself eye contact. I find that when someone, you meet someone for the first time, oftentimes you find yourself doing like that. Hi. Why are you running away from the eyes? I know that sometimes it might be a bit awkward staring into people's eyes because sometimes it's like you does it. But what you can do is look at the nose bridge. So instead of looking at the eyes, look there and ensure that you're maintaining eye contact with a smile. You never want to be seen as that one who is not friendly or anything because think about it. If someone is stuck, at work or they need help they would only go to that person who seemed friendly at first they won't go to that one who seemed really rude or shy or doesn't want to talk to people and you really don't want that you want to be approachable so ensure that you're maintaining eye contact at all times number two pay attention to names when people introduce themselves to you please try to remember the names now i understand that remembering names can be a task i'm on that table i'm that lady who often forgets people's names but this is what i do so let's say you've introduced yourself and you said hi my name is fire so when i'm talking to you you'll find me saying oh okay it's really nice to meet you fire so fire how long have you worked here for oh so fire do you really enjoy so i'm mentioning your name over and over so that it sticks that is one tip i'm going to give you today so if you're like me and you're not really good with names when that person introduces themselves while you're having that conversation conversation keep don't just keep saying their names but ensure that you find a suitable way to incorporate the name into that conversation that helps you to remember the name trust me it works number three professionalism in all forms of communication i find it very very worrying when you find emails and you see things like hey or someone sends you sends you a dm hey remy I'm thinking, why are you talking to me like that? It's important that we're professional in all forms of communication. It doesn't matter if it's WhatsApp. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, Instagram, LinkedIn, an email. However, you're messaging your colleague, ensure that you're formal and you're respectful. Good morning. Hello. You know, those are the that that is how you you ensure that you're being professional, you're being polite. Remember, etiquette is all about having good manners. It's all about being considerate of the other person. So you want to ensure that you're treating people the way you will want to be treated. You don't want to treat people in a way that will make them think you're so rude, you're so disrespectful, and not really want to have any form of communication with you. You have times where people will say, oh, I'm going to put you in a team with this person, and you find them looking for every avenue to run away from working with that person. You don't want to be that one that they're running away from. You won't grow that way. Number four, keep your phones on silent and your computers too. So if you're working in a, in, in a shared space because you have um, offices where you know there are shared cubicles, I always advise that you have your computer 
on silent. The last thing you want is pop, 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 pop. As your email's coming, the whole office is hearing it. It can be very distracting. It can be very annoying. Just imagine there are 10 people in that, that one office, you know, in different cubicles and everybody's computer keeps going pop, pop, da -da, da -da, and everybody's phone keeps going just imagine that. <laughs> exactly. So this is why it's important that while you're at work, put your computer on silent, put your phone on silent so that when your notifications come in, you are the only one who is aware that they have come in. You're not disturbing the entire office. Number five, keep personal calls short while at work. I understand that emergencies happen. I understand that you might just want to talk to um, your husband or your partner or what have you or your kids. And that's okay. We're human beings. We need to relax sometimes, but keep it short. Remember that you're at work. And again, if you're sharing a big office space, I, I advise that you take your personal call out of that office space. You don't want everybody to be hearing what you're saying to your husband or your partner or your daughter and be disturbing everybody. Remember, someone might be on a business call. Somebody might be trying to, you know, create a contract and they need some sort of concentration. Also, if you find yourself stepping out and using the conference room, keep it short. And please, even if you're going into the bathroom, don't go into the bathroom and start having personal calls. It's not your personal bathroom. It's still the office. So keep it short. As long as it's a personal call, you are expected to keep it short and sweet. Remember that you are at work and you want to be considerate, respecting your employer, respecting, you know, your contract, your code of um, conduct and what have you, ensuring that as a child of God, you're doing what is expected of you per time. These are ways by which we can show the world that we respect you know, the rules that have been put in place. And, you know, when people see that you, 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 you're not that person that breaks rules, they see that you're very considerate of other people, you'll be amazed at how these little things really draw people closer to us. You'll find that people always want to come and sit with you at lunch. you find that, you know, when there's an event going on at work, they invite you. And when they invite you to these things, to lunch, you know, to just these little things, it's an opportunity for you to tell them about Jesus. Because oftentimes you find people just ask, so, so, you know, why are you so different? I find that you're never upset. I find that you get there on time. I find that a lot of people don't even know that they shouldn't take personal calls, but you do that. How, you know, why are you so different? You can always have an avenue to talk about Jesus if this is something you want to do. The last thing I'm going to be talking about today is emotions. Ladies, we're very emotional people and this is okay. There's nothing wrong with, you know, letting your emotions out. But you need to remember that when you're at work, you need to keep your emotions at bay. So you, you have something personal going on. You don't want to come to work and your face is looking like, you know, nobody wants to talk to you. You are angry at everybody. You are yelling at everybody. You you get to work late. You're picking up the phone and answering the wrong way. You really don't want to be doing that. You don't want to bring your emotions to work and then affect every other person's mood. You don't want to affect the output of the day. What I normally advise is if you know that your mental health is being affected, if you know that whatever it is you're going through is so much and it's something that you really can't drop at the door before you come into the office, speak to your manager, speak to whoever is in charge and take some time off. Your mental health is priority. You are priority. If you know that you need that time off, take it off. Because what you don't want to do is stress yourself by, you know, keep doing these things. Or, you know, just keep showing up at work, being angry. And then you turn to this person that nobody wants to talk to. You turn to this person who everybody's thinking, is she in a good mood today? Is she cranky today? What is going on with her today? You don't want to be that lady. So it's important that as an elegant lady, we keep our emotions at bay. So ladies, this is where I'm going to be stopping today. I really do hope that you found these tips helpful. Like I said at the beginning, good manners are very important and we shouldn't drop them 
at the church door when we leave church on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day that you're at work, you should incorporate good manners. Show people that you're loving. Show people that you're considerate. Good manners, our character, is a good way and one of the easiest ways to introduce people to who we are in Christ. And we want to do this at all times. You never want to do things that will make people start questioning your faith, start questioning who you are. This is not who we are. Godly, elegant women are very, very particular about what they put out there in the world. Remember, you are the light of the world and ensure that you're putting your best foot forward at all times. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.